generative AI is everywhere. AWS has released a new service called as AWS Code Whisperer, which is AI based coding companion. So what it does is whenever you are writing a code in your IDE and that code could be in any language like Python, JavaScript and few others. So whenever you're writing that code, this code whisperer or AI based coding companion auto generates your coding lines or even full programs. So you don't have to worry about syntax or even syntax semantic errors. It helps you a lot and it increases your productivity. You can use AWS Code Whisperer with a lot of IDEs in the market today, such as VS Code and few others. And more conveniently, you can even use it with Cloud9, which is a web-based online service by AWS to write and debug your code. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure and run and resolve few issues with Code Whisperer in Cloud9 environment. On your screen, you can see that I already have created a Cloud9 environment. And before I do anything, um, make sure that you have some prerequisites met or early configuration is there. It is automatic, but it's always a good idea to make sure it is there. So for that, you can see on screen that on the left hand side is AWS icon, click on it. On the bottom, this developer's tool will appear. In this, make sure that in the code whisperer section, you have this auto suggestions running. So it shouldn't be false. Secondly, you need to make sure that it is connected with EC2 instance. So this EC2 instance is running behind the scene of this code whisperer. And um, you, do, you need to make sure that you are connected with it. If you're not, double click, click on it and it will happen. Okay, now let's try it out if code whisperer works in Cloud9 or not. I am just pasting a single liner of JavaScript function and then press enter, wait for two seconds, nothing happens so it means code whisperer is still not running one more thing to make sure is that whenever you create a new file in cloud9 make sure that you have given the proper extension like test.js so it will make easier for code whisperer and also cloud9 to identify the programming language of this code i have even saved it nothing happens so it means code whisperer is not running the reason here why code whisperer is not running is that this connected with EC2 instance means that Code Whisperer using it is using this EC2 instance behind the scene. And so the permission of these EC2 instance doesn't allow Code Whisperer to talk to Cloud9. So we need to make sure that in the IAM role assumed by this EC2 instance, we add Code Whisperer permissions. In order to do that, you need to go you need to go to im console and search for this role aws cloud 9 ssm access role and you need to make sure you create a new policy it could be inline or customer managed policy and attach it to this role this policy simply is allowing code whisper um, and this im role to generate code whisper recommendations so you, all you need to do is to go in to IAM console, search for this role, attach this policy to this role. If you don't find this role, it means that you have never created any Cloud9 environment in your uh, AWS account. So when you create it, it will automatically provision this role for you. Cool. Okay, let me assign this role to this, uh, assign this policy to this role, and then we will check what happens so i have just added this policy there now let me go back to my code whisperer account and then try out that java line again so i have just pasted the java line press enter let's see what happens there you go as you can see it has code whisperer is working now and it is giving me the selection press enter again and it will give you the whole stuff over there now you keep clicking and it will keep giving you data upon data and code examples on code examples and if you read this code if you're a javascript developer you could appreciate how easy and how productive you could be and how quickly you can write your programs i hope that this was useful if you have any feedback please put it into the comment section thank you